Well, hello everybody. Welcome to my base tour video of Subnautica. This is Moose, and this is Daisy. Um, I'll get started here. I'd gotten obsessed with watching the base tour videos that people had made a long time ago. I know I'm late to the game, but I think I made something worthwhile. Here's my power. And we'll just follow this right down the way. There's the line running to the base. You can see portions of it there. Go down my little driveway. Here we go. Keep calm, everybody. We're home. Welcome to Ark Alpha. Downstairs, I've got my storage. This is my main living quarters, slash charging, slash crafting, med kits, med storage, uh, radio, power cells, and then if I just want to take a nap, and my cool little bobblehead. That's actually kind of creepy, I didn't know it did that. Okay, let's go down into the storage. I finally I made a door here instead. Makes it way easier when I want to go into the garden, which I will show you later. My storage facility here. Now, there is way too much stuff in this game to cram into one room effectively and still make it functionable, but this works for now. Um, this is all my titanium right here in the middle, that's why I don't have any titanium on these, because you just need so much of it, I wanted bigger lockers. These signs are super, super fun, but as some players know, the copper for them is super annoying to try and find. Uh, P. Ranger Bay, you may be asking what that is, because it might sound pretty close to a copyright infringement, but that's a surprise and you'll have to wait. Let's go over here. Gypsy Bay, another copyright infringement, but I didn't care. Um, let's see, water filtration is all here. It didn't do the cool thing where it all turns blue and zaps water in, but you can see this is where I get all my purified water from, as well as salt deposits. Let's go down into the food garden. Oops. Stupid ladders. I hate ladders. Okay. My potato plants, my whatever fruit, lantern fruit, okay. All edible. Anything edible I put in this room, as far as dry food goes. Alright, let's go back up. And we'll take you through the gypsy bay. I'm pretty proud of this. Nice lit up area from my gypsy. And just to give you some insight here, Pacific Rim fans, anyone? Had to. First good thing that came to mind, I couldn't think of anything better anyway, so it works. It's such a cool feature, I love that, okay. My extra moon pool, I do have an extra sea pod with a story behind it that I will show you in there. Uh, but for now, let's go to the bioreactor. The scanner room is also this way. Bioreactor is running with a few more here. That'll actually last some time. Works fairly well with these little Reginalds, and they're all over the place out here, so I could just grab them, throw them in here, and then I've got a full stock of Reginalds to keep this thing going forever. Alright. Observatory and scanner room. Scanner room is down here. Let's just hit that first. I'm gonna put a hatch here, just haven't done it yet. Let's see. All my upgrades in here. Um, if you play this game and you're not using the scanner room, you're wrong. You should start using the scanner room. With a few upgrades, you add the chip feature, the range feature, and the speed feature. This thing will scan an area and light up your entire HUD with where all this stuff is. And it is awesome. Made building this thing way faster. 
Um, anyway, let's get... I left that stupid bag there. I don't know where to put this stupid thing. I thought it, like, had something to... in it, and I took it back with me, and it's just in the way all the time. Let's go... the observatory. Chang's over the whole base. I eventually plan on doing a cool little cityscape down here. I will do an update video if I ever actually complete that whole process. Okay, let's go... That's the surprise over there, guys. That's the P-Ranger Bay. Okay, let's go out here. My garden. My blood oil. My squishy things. Gel sacks. Um, I don't know what I'm going to put in here yet. I think I need to put those things that don't have the little bulbs on them because they give you more for your fibers and whatnot. I might do some of those and then I'm just going to do some other, like, I don't know, flowy stuff like these. They're pretty. Why not? Okay, let's uh, go this way. See, now I'm back in the storage room here. Let's check out the therapy garden in the kitchen. Here's my kitchen. I cook everything on the craft table, so I don't know why I have a kitchen, but I didn't have anything else to do with this room, so it is what it is. This is a really cool feature. It gives you like three food, but it's dehydrating because it's salty, whatever coffee machine it actually works it will stock me with coffee um, which hydrates you slightly it's not even worth it but it's cool Let's see this is just my showroom oh cool these hadn't grown yet I haven't seen these cool so this is all the non-usable plants that I can mess with all right so let's go back up Aquarium and P-Ranger Bay, guys, we're getting close. Okay. I don't have anything yet. Uh, full disclosure, I am not that far in the game. I got hooked up on the base building. I just became obsessed, and I haven't stopped to uh, continue the story, but I will get to it eventually. All right, here we go. Here's the big one. I'm so proud of this. I got an idea from a guy that I saw that had a bunch of subs. And, was, and they were all different colors and it gave me this idea. All right, here we go. Prawn Ranger Bay, guys. Prawn Rangers. Look at these boys. Also, that is pink, even though it looks purple. Uh, I tried to make it as bright as possible, but that's about as good as it gets for now. Oh man, I just love it so much. Okay, so now we're gonna go back over here. We're gonna do... That was interesting. We're gonna do a full span view, because I'm just obsessed with the work I've done here, I know that's super cocky to say, but it's just gorgeous, and it's nighttime right now, so it's perfect. Oh, maybe the sun's coming out. I'll go quick. It'll just fit so nicely lit up and pretty. Alright, let's go tell you this story. So, the sea moth that's in here, when I first started the game, I went down into, actually, that hole right there. And uh, it was down there, I don't know, 150 meters or so. And uh, I died. It was like right at the beginning, right after I made my first sea moth, so I just made another one because I had no idea where that was, I didn't know how any of the beacons worked yet, and so on and so forth. Eventually I turned on my beacons on and I realized that my sea moth was literally right under my base. So I built another moon pool, I saved the original sea moth, and its name is now my first time. Because it was my reminder that when venturing into a new area, I gotta make sure I'm equipped and I'm careful. Oh, that is about all I have. I guess I can show you, for people that haven't played this game yet, this thing on the inside is so badass. Excuse my French, but there's no other way to say it. 
This game is just so awesome. Check this out. Welcome aboard, Captain. So I'm just now working on getting my lockers in here to facilitate this whole place, but you can basically turn this whole thing into a mini base. I've seen people do it. I'm gonna do it. I just didn't want to wait another six frickin' days of farming and whatnot to record a video to show it because I'm so proud of the other base. Here's the engine. It takes uh, six power cells. There's three on the other side. You can check them all individually. That one needs to come out. It's already got a fabricator in here, which is cool. Here is the uh, docking bay. You can put the sea moth or the prawns in there. So um, I usually hook up the prawn and take this to the deep depths, and I go drilling. That's how I bring a bunch of stuff back. You can mini base this whole thing, bedroom it if you wanted to. There's my health. I should probably turn all these lights off. I've been on forever. My power is probably crap. Yeah, I'm just getting low. The entire interface here is just genius. Could switch cameras. This is how you maneuver this thing because it is a pain to drive around. At least for me, anyway. Maybe I'm just not good at stuff. Put torpedoes on here and stuff like that. Anyway, I'll get off this thing. Let's power it down. And that's really all I have to show to you guys. Thank you so much for watching. I put so much work into this thing and I'm just incredibly proud of it. And I hope you guys find some enjoyment out of it and also are enjoying this game too. Thanks and have a good one.